I was involved in mountaineering very much uh, during my younger days. And I was also happened to be the team's photographer. After photographing my teammates uh, on many Himalayan expeditions, eventually I felt that this was a career path I wanted to, to go on. I'm very interested to do projects that ask questions that provoke people into thinking about a certain topic and more importantly I, I want my personal projects to be useful. My family started rich and then when I was born suddenly they became poor and I think for the next 20 years I realised what choices mean. The poverty line attempts to ask a question, uh, what does it mean to be poor? We find the economic figures that define what is at the poverty line and the daily food choices that a poor person would face. We have actually covered 16 countries across six continents since we started about the project two years ago. Most of the countries when we were calculating the poverty line, we were able to derive a national statistic based on government figures. But in Hong Kong, there is no recognized official poverty line. But what we did is we derived it from a NGO which broke it down to the food value of 44.96 Hong Kong dollars. I think a lot of people's assumptions were they would just eat simple carbohydrates. They will find the cheapest food available, which is true for most of the time. Then uh, we started reading on the psychology of poor people behaviour. And what we find is they have the same desires as what we do. Meaning that if they could have a dessert, a nice meal, um, perhaps once or twice a year, they would do it. So I decided to actually uh, cut across what would be a normal diet within Hong Kong itself. For Hong Kong, I believe we photograph about 80 items in all. What we find is poverty has actually became a global issue. No matter what situation it is, being poor in a country is a very difficult situation and I think that Hong Kong is even more difficult in some ways because the Gini coefficient, which is the wealth gap between the rich and the poor, is among the highest in the world. A photograph says a thousand words. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Documenting the less privilege for me has always been an aim because I feel that they are the ones often with a lesser voice. I'm just adding, you know, one of the zigzag pieces to what many other photographers, artists are doing as well. And I feel that I'm just doing my small part in this whole puzzle.